you can see a 6 volt 3.2 amps battery fed it to a transistorized speed controller circuit here and the output of this circuit is connected to motor via a switch actually this switch is intended for reversing and forwarding and you can see the position of the switch is uh, positioned uh, almost within the neutral position of the preset or we can call it volume controller and you can see an aluminum arm I glued to the arm of the original servo and a simple brass rod is used for actuating the volume control and the reversing switch this is the motor I reworked for uh, 9 volts yeah, at 6 volt it gives me almost 6000 rpm and it works nice here you can see you can adjust the speed within uh, pinpoint accuracy and uh, you can stop it where you want and you can also reverse the motor when you need you can search and check it here and I'm trying to start the motor with my simple setup and you can see here <coughs> you can see here uh, I'm trying to See here, I'm trying to control the speed with my circuit. It is going towards high. Increasing the speed, and uh, you can position it where you want. You can see here. Now you can almost count the uh, revolutions from looking into the spinning hub. So it is highly precise, and you can uh, position the control where you need. Now time to check the reverse. Okay, working nicely. Reverse, powered. Reverse. Now again. Working nicely. Powered. Reverse. nicely mm -hmm. see here is looking simply and nicely we do not spend any more money on speed controllers if you can make it harm and uh, with the saved money you can do many other things So uh, yes, you saw here I already you can use the control for precise controlling. Now it's looking nice. Huh? I use the structure from the farm board to absorb the shock. It's a shock induced by the cells so it will be in safe situation at any instance and uh, you can